Hey guys, welcome back to Talking Money with Pete. In these videos, I'm trying to go through, draw some pictures to help explain some general financial concepts. Over my time in the financial industry, I found that clients seem to be able to relate really well to pictures that I draw. And if I don't think there's enough education in our schools on about money, on budgeting or tax or why we pay it. So in these videos, I'm trying to go through and just help provide some, some helpful concepts and some helpful financial wisdom. And so uh, in, this, in this video, I'm gonna go through and be drawing a picture. Today's video is what I call the banana story. And it's about the ups and downs of shares. So today we're gonna to be talking about the exciting topic of super, and more specifically, shares. Last time we talked about the importance of time and doing things for a long period of time. Today we're going to be talking about something that affects pretty much all Australians, which is super, that their employer, or if you work for yourself, you put into super. And so super has this magical presence that a lot of people don't know what it is and they don't really bother to learn until they get to the stage where they're about to be able to uh, have to use it. And so super is pretty much just a, uh, if you think about it from a simplistic concept or a bit of an analogy, it's a, it's a magic bubble. And so the word super is a term that's owned by the Australian tax office. And it pretty much means uh, something that inside, everything inside that bubble gets taxed at 15% tax and you can't touch it to your 60. And so today we're gonna to be going through, and like I said previously, talking about the, what I call the banana story, which is if I draw a bit of a graph and if this is money and this is time, as we go through your life and share markets go up and down and up and down, um, all the time your employer is going in and they're putting money from your wage. So in this case, let's just say uh, $10. Uh, they're putting that into super. And so they're buying units. And so when super is going really well and it's, it's worth a lot, you're putting $10 in from your employer so they can buy one banana. So if we think of bananas instead of shares, and then we have a share market crash, very timely, it's just happened with COVID-19. And so when the shares go down, if you're still lucky enough to be working, then units are on sale. And so you're still working, you're still, your employer's still got the same $10, they go in, but ten, if, if bananas are on sale now, and they're a dollar each, you can buy 10 bananas. And so, and then next 10 years, it goes up, goes up, you can buy one banana because they're $10 again. And then it crashes and they buy 10 bananas. One banana, 10 bananas. Person with the most bananas at the end of the day wins. And so in an ideal situation, if I was being really uh, greedy, uh, perfect situation is share market crashes and stays rubbish. And so I get 10 bananas, 10 bananas, 10 bananas, 10 bananas, 10 bananas, not too greedy, one banana up there. And so ups and downs are a really good thing as we're going through life. And so uh, when shares are down, um, then we get to buy more of them. And when shares are up, we don't get to buy as many of them, but they're worth more. And so when shares are up, everyone goes, oh, they're worth so much. The only time your shares matter is when you buy them and then when you go to sell them. And so when you get to retirement. So the aim of the game is the person with the most bananas at the end of the day wins. And so when we look at the ups and downs, and it's actually a really good thing. No one would make any money if the share market was just a flat line. So it's good that it goes up and down because that's how we make money. And so person with the most bananas at the end of the day wins. And so um, super is a really good thing. And obviously relating back to the last video, the, the longer you're in it for, the better. And it really makes a difference. And that's a big thing with a lot of people at the moment. If uh, you're pulling money out now, when shares are really cheap when they're down, and it can have huge impacts later on. So it's really important to go speak to someone. And so, um, yeah, that's about it for this episode. Hey guys, if you found this video interesting, feel free to share it around or put a comment on it. If you'd like to know more about something like this or you're really interested in your own super, whether it's whether you're at this end of the scale or you're at that end of the scale, uh, feel free, the number will be below on the screen to get in touch with me or any of our team. We've got lots of different specialists. Um, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this. So if you like it, don't feel, uh, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you in future videos.